What's up, everybody? My name is Chip. I'm here with Main Street Mower. I'm gonna teach you to how to. Dang it! What's up, everybody? My name is Chip. I'm gonna teach you how to know if your chainsaw's jacked up. How do you know if your saw is ruined, not worth fixing, blown up, foobard? Here are some quick tips to know right away. First thing you're going to need to do is check the compression. You can do this with fancy machines, you can do this with a compression check gauge, but the simple down to earth, back roads way to do it is to lift your saw by the rope. If it's a really, really big heavy saw, it'll still fall. If your decomp valve is pressed, it'll still fall. But if this isn't pressed, and it's a medium sized saw, if you were to let go of this, it should stay up. Okay, see that? It fell. I have another saw here, brand new saw. Compression's fine. Same test. That's what it should look like, y'all. It should slowly fall. See that? It's slowly going. This saw fell much faster, has low compression. You can also feel that if you pull the rope. You kind of feel like this. This dull blah, 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 blah. This kind of feels like you're dragging a chain on the ground or something. This doesn't feel right. So once you've done that, you kind of know there's something wrong. Maybe I have bad compression. I should check my piston and cylinder. Lots of people bring stuff to us and they say, hey, check it out, not running well, service it, sharpen the chain, put a new bar on it, do all this stuff. They'll come in, they'll buy a carburetor and air filter and all this stuff for it. And it never needed it to begin with because it's blown up. It's like putting a new hat on a dead body. It's just not worth it. Here's the number two skill, okay? This will just save you so much money in estimate fees, everybody's time. You get a flat head. You pry off your muffler covers, okay? Pretty easy to do. I'm gonna pull my muffler off, and I'm just gonna call, we, it's kind of a crude name, but we say we look up its skirt, okay? You look up through the muffler hole at the actual piston cylinder, and you see if it's scratched, you see if it's damaged. And if it has vertical striations, the salt's totaled. If it has horizontal milling marks, then the salt's fine. I have a nice handy dandy Milwaukee drill, which I love. I don't get any kind of ads for them, or money from them, but if I do, Milwaukee, hook me up. Remove your muffler. This is a T27 wrench. It comes with your chainsaw. Okay, you pull your muffler off. You can pull out your handy dandy flashlight. And you just look right up that hole. And you slowly pull your rope, and it allows you to see, and you can actually see the piston move. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It is jacked up. Woo! If it has any vertical scoring, guys, the saw is pretty much finito. Uh, this same lesson works for concrete saws, any kind of two-stroke chainsaws, you can see right up the muffler. Um, guys, once you see those lines, the only way to fix it is a new piston and cylinder. It's not worth rehoning, you know, putting new piston rings in. It's just total, because the piston's gonna cost you three quarters of the price of the unit, plus labor. You're just not gonna wanna get in involved with that, okay? Guys, I appreciate it. That was a quick tip from Main Street Mower. Have a good day. Ow!